Hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to door number two. Now this is door number two animation too. I want to show you a little bit about animation and then I want to show you how to separate the actual floor. So you want to paint a different colour maybe to the door frame, but that's entirely up to you. And so the door frame is here. So I want to leave my door frame blue temporarily. You could just make it to make it white. So that way. So you could make it white because virtually every door frame is white anyway. So We'll do that, but I'll talk about that after I show you how to animate the floor. Not the floor, how to animate the door. First of all, first things first, click on the door frame and hide it. Click the door. Now, of course, we need the centre. You see down here, we've got the little orange dot. That's the centre point, that's the origin. And we've got the mouse, which is here, which is there, look, it's called the cursor. It's really the mouse. So we need that on the side of the door. Don't worry about the diamond part, we're going to sort that out, we're going to share the model, so it's going to be perfect. Click the door, go here, edit. Now, because my doors are already set, you look down here, you show everything is set to zero. I'm also going to show you, before you start animating anything, select the whole entire lot. Don't animate nothing, don't touch it, leave it. Click the whole entire lot, left click hold, drag it, go into option, go into here, object mode, go here. Set it to Blender default, so go to Apply, all transforms, everything will go to zero. Sometimes, if you are kind of a little bit unlucky, if you're trying to put it into Quantum, don't do that. If that changes to Quantum, just go back to X, Y, and Z, and then just go back here and apply all settings, and then that's it. That's that part, don't do X, Y, and Z. Make sure it's all zero, make sure it's size one. That's Emma's basically. Emma's world size, Emma's standard world, and that's Blender's basically default. So I'm thinking, okay, let's keep it all standard. Click the door, go here, go back here, edit, turn the door to the side. Now, of course, depending on which side the handle is, of course, that would depend. Now, you know what I just realized on this door? I can't actually do this video yet, because you see that the door. It's missing the bar. See the bar that goes through the door? I think it went my bar. Yeah, in the other video, I, I saved that the whole entire door. But I didn't save the bar. Now, of course, the bar is separate. We're going to add it later. It doesn't particularly matter. So, anyway, let's pretend the bar is there. I'm going to add it in, in the final video, so don't worry about it. So, okay, so the bar is connected. Let's pretend. Okay, so... We're going to click on the door. Okay, so we're actually on the door here. Turn around, as I said, depending on which side you put the, the door handle on this side or this side, doesn't matter. If you want to, if you want, I'm going to have my door open this way. Okay, because the other door, original door, opens this way. But you can have it open this way if you want to. If you want to do that, all you have to do, you see that little dot? A little bit up there, you can't see, press that. See that little dot? That's what you want to press. So obviously I'm animating on this side. So if you want to do the same thing, put the opposite way. It's the same thing. Click here. Right click. Look down. You see snap vert vertically. Look down here. It says cursor to active. Say yeah. The cursor basically jumps from the floor to here. I think it's great. You see that little yellow dot down there? That's going to be your animation point. We want to make that jump to there too. Now, that thing is going to jump so fast, you're not even going to see it. Go here. Go here. Go to set origin. And origin goes to cursor. Watch, it's going to jump so quick, you won't even see it. Just like that. So now, you notice there's no yellow dot there, because it's up there, look. Okay, now, the door is absolutely perfect. Now, all we have to do is go back into top view. Because everything's joined up already, we can, should be able to now very simply right click, go insert animation, location and rotation, make sure it's visual. I want to do 60 seconds. Now, when I do 60 seconds, I want to go here and I can change this to 60 seconds. That will shorten the timeline like that. Now, all you want to do is go here. Rotate the door so it opens almost maybe to the wall. Right click, 
insert rotation and rotation and that is all we have to do now that all works the exact same as the first door so if we just bring back the door frame and we play the animation then how great is that now of course that's the easiest way on the planet to actually animate of course if you're happy with that there's a couple of ways we can do this now we can either open this you don't have to do this by the way but i'm going to show you go here select all this if you want to do it but i'm going to show you you don't have to do that click off that all right so let's say you want this you can go here you can select here if you want to do that you can do that but however you want to do it let's just select that go here just to make it look good go on here come down to animation you can come down here and go to bake now if you want to bake it really honestly yeah you can do that but you don't have to do that either but go in here see the visual basics pose don't do object to pose go bake it see the look nothing to bake because you don't have to do it like i just said okay don't even, you don't even have to select it like that you don't have to do it but just just anyway just, just select them. you don't have to do it you can try it without doing it i'll show you go here actually i'm, I'm not even going to click on it i'm going to click off it i'll show you i'm just going to show you that you don't have to select it go here okay, go here export now of course you want to export everything so now because i've got all this in here as well what i am going to do i'm going to select this part because i don't want to ex export all that go here export colorado yeah well i don't use colorado well just for now just use colorado just just temporary go here okay i'm going to call it number two because i've got to, obviously i've got to add the door handle so just go here so yeah okay, go here delete the entire lot click on the file go back over here of course there's no animation on it now go back here import number two import it now just press play but oh ain't that nice now what's good about the animations is if you move the animation to here let's say move it to there do the animation still work oh the animation works great can we put it over there we can put the animation anywhere we want because it makes no difference where the animation is and the reason how it works is one is because everything is inside everything else because we parented it we went here and we parented it we parented the objects all to the main thing so whatever the main part is or the outside shell that's that make sure everything else get parented inside the object so if it's like a door so you've got the door look which is here and of course you know yourself on the door we got some windows so we have to parent the windows to the door we've got a door handle so we have to parent the door handle of course we've got a parent that to the door because it's not part of the door frame and of course then you'd be parent the whole thing to the actual door frame and of course when you go into animation mode make sure you do the visual location so the animation follows the actual background which is absolutely great now most people don't kind of tell you that i don't know whether they know whether they don't know now i want to explain this part now as you see our door frame now normally a door frame is actually white so what we're going to do make sure you're in object mode open the door frame two left ticks open to texture okay, click on the texture if you want to come there you see it's blue click on this we're going to click on the white and just say yeah so the whole thing is pure brand new and it's white i think it, yeah now when i put that inside the render screen you're not going to actually see the white part because it's white i think how great is that but anyway we're going to have white because we want black and white of course we want to change the door handle color because the door handle color is the same color as the door so i think yeah, i'm not going to do that yet but just anyway so you as i said all you do is click on the part you want you should say look this is the door handle and you're going to, have to go in here click on the door handle material make it in object mode go to the door handle material click the door handle change the door handle a different color so it's not the same color as the door we've got, uh, we've got two different colors on the door handle go back here press this one change this door handle so we've got two different colors on it i think it's okay kind of great okay i'm gonna 
I'm gonna not gonna have the void because when I render it later, you're not gonna be able to see. So I'm gonna just gonna change to something else. Let's have a let's have a green. Yeah, we'll have a green door frame. So they can, yeah, well, it doesn't look too great. Not really, but <laughs> it will do for the render. So anyway, you get the idea. Now we want to do the floor. We want to separate it from the rest of the model. We'll touch the door. The door is complete. Okay, click the door frame. Go here. Edit. Now. I don't know how you're going to separate your floor, so you have to either choose, let's say, now let's say you're doing like these two, hold the up arrow key, let's hold the keyboard, let's say you're doing these ones, I'm going to do a checkerboard for like this, that's what I'm going to do it. So that's how I'm going to do my floor, you can do a checkerboard that way, you can you can basically split all of them like this, separately, so it's all one colour, if you want to do that, you can, whatever you do, don't click on the crack. Just click, just go here and select these part. So we can have it all one colour. If we want to, so now maybe we got a green hallway and maybe a black bedroom, maybe. It's up to you how you're doing it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have a checkerboard. Actually I'm not gonna have a checkerboard. I'm gonna go not like that. I wanna go with these two. And then I'm gonna go with these two. So I'm gonna do my floor like this. So it's kind of slightly different. So I'm going to go with these two. Actually, no, I could have I could have a floor like that inside, and I could have a checkerboard on the outside if I wanted to. So I can basically undo that, and I can just basically do this. So the inside is different like that to the outside. If I wanted to do that, but of course I don't want to do that because I like it keep most things pretty similar so as I said even though it's a different place different hallway I can always change it later so it doesn't matter so I don't want those ones so I'm going to keep it the same as the bedroom so the inside looks the same as the outside right click split right click separate your selection you see I got a new one hide it now I'm going to leave the tile green because I'm going to have the same colour as the door frame. So if I change the colour of the door frame, it's going to change the colour of the four tiles. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's kind of green. So okay, now obviously that's how I want to do it. Now, of course, you see around here, this is my crack in the floor. This is my skirting board. Not my skirting board, you know, the concrete between the spots. I think it, um, yeah. Now, of course, I don't want that green, but of course it's part of the door frame. So whatever colour the door frame is, it's also going to be the same colour of the concrete. So I'm thinking, mm, yeah, I don't really want that. So I'm thinking, maybe I do, maybe I don't. But if you do, then you can split them and you can separate them. So you can go here, 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 and go here. As I said, because the door frame normally is probably white, that means the concrete is going to be white. I'm thinking, eh, no. So my, con so my door frame is going to have to be grey. Because otherwise it's not gonna match, it's not gonna match the floor. Right click, split the act to go there, split, right click, separate selection. So now they're separate. Now of course this is the brick wall, so that would be separate from the floor. Otherwise the whole thing is gonna turn grey. So if as I said, if, if, if I don't separate the, the actual brick wall from the door frame, when I paint the door frame, it's gonna paint the actual floor. Of course, I can just select all that and split it and separate it from the actual door frame itself. If I want to do that, I'm not doing that, that's just more work. But I'm saying I can do that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my door frame, put the NG green, click here, and I'm going to have a nice dark grey door frame. I think, yeah, that's going to look better. So, we okay, let's leave it like that. So, now we've got a dark door frame. Think perfect. Come back out of edit mode. Make sure you come out of edit mode, click off it. Show the first floor, this is this one. Pick whatever colour you want, I call it open it. Open it. Go down here, make sure it's actually on the tile. Click the tile. If you go up here, you can delete the actual colour for it. Add a new colour to it. Put the shield on it. Pick a colour, go here. Whatever colour you want to do that, let's do it green. Okay, so we're going to have a green floor. So we're going to do that one, and then we're going to open this floor which is obviously grey, I think uh, we don't want it grey, 
but down here click on this part make sure you click on the slab click through here two left clicks and obviously you should have seat down here scroll to the top and you will see this part delete that okay go here make a new texture put the shield on it go to the top one here press that press this one and choose what color you want i'm going to have blue so i'm going to have black blue and green and now of course what you do is you select the whole entire thing if you want to i'm going to do that the only reason why i'm doing it for i think you don't have to select it but i'm only actually selecting it because i don't want to take all of this with me otherwise it's going to take absolutely everything i think you know i only want that go here export export it to my collider i said just export it to collider temporarily until you get it the way you want it go back here and then of course you can export it to whatever you want it's entirely up to you so go back here and go back here import now it comes in now it looks totally different and now of course you can play the animation we painted the door frame now it doesn't look too boring anymore i think it's great you could look better when you put the wall on it you're looking better but you put a light on there and a light switch and a doorbell maybe whatever you want to do with it now of course i just want to basically test if i can actually move my finger around is all this part of that no because what we didn't do like i told you click on your door frame remember the floor we didn't parent it to the actual thing so click the floor hold control click this go back to here parent the floor to the model now if you move to the actual thing you press play you can get how great is that now, of course you can put this anywhere in the world and it'll just work so now all we need is the secret key to unlock the door and we can obviously we can show the secrets of the world so anyway this is how you animate basically the door so i'll show you how to animate proper easy proper simple i'll show you how to basically cut up and chop the floor don't forget to put it all back inside the main door frame because otherwise when you move it it's going to actually move it you'll move the door frame but you won't actually move the floor just to let you know that so anyway as you say thumbs up thumbs down subscribe don't subscribe if you're one of my subscribers thank you very much i really truly appreciate that and if you watch the next video the next video i'm only going to show you how to animate the door one last time so you get to finally understand how to animate now it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's a door doesn't matter if it's a foot a finger a leg doesn't matter it's all animated in the same way Easy. the only thing you i want to tell you to remember don't forget to put your items inside the items and don't forget to parent the objects simple as that okay anyway stay safe keep it friendly see you soon bye